No one say we bad in a real For me was a youth every day that Go on you to go on Ease yourself just keep it calm you to a star Only pop pressure and I'm a gunner What time it hard for carry on You don't need no girl for turn to no man for talk to Feelings hurt when the journey so far Show me know me we go do things and nobody hug you Me like good in no sense and stand told me all that Wag1 success family, hope everyone is doing alright If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe to get all our latest videos Like this video so we can continue to drop more contents like this one. Alright, so Trinidad dancehall artist Joseph Medzboss Olivier was arraigned before a master of the High Court on Monday, facing charges associated with gang activities. Represented by attorney at law Alexia Romero, Medzboss was granted bail set at 40,000 Trinidadian dollars. Also, 40k TT dollars is equivalent to about 5,920 US dollars, almost 6,000. This echoes a previous case involving Cayman 6 who was also implicated in gang related activities and released on the same bail amount. It's noteworthy that such legal fees though substantial are not beyond the means of these artists implying their financial stability despite their alleged involvement in criminal circles so the six and the seven have money to spend if legal situation arise broke badness don't make any sense so that's why the money is up rich and non talk all right so it's crucial to also recognize that criminal behavior ultimately leads to adverse consequences. Medboss joins a list of high profile artists, including Cayman 6, as you know, who have faced legal repercussions. These artists are intended to send a clear message to members of these gangs, the 6 and the 7, signaling authorities' vigilance and determination to pursue those associated with unlawful activities. Right? While lesser known members of the 6 and the 7 may not attract the same attention, the overarching goal remains to address the pervasive violence and criminality plaguing Trinidad and Tobago. So looking ahead, it's a fervent hope to see a future where such senseless bloodshed, especially amongst the youths and the talented artists, is curtailed and a semblance of peace and coexistence is achieved amongst the six and the sevens while acknowledging the daunting challenges ahead some solidarity with all those striving for a positive change within trinidad and tobago and we want to see the country transform from being labeled as one of the murder capital in the world right so just let me know within the comments your thoughts your opinion your concern about these activities and these things that continue to plague the Trinidad scene, the dancehall scene, you know what I mean, and disrupting many lives within the Trinidad society. So suffice to say, I'm back on the scene, you know what I mean, I'm back to talking about many things on the Trinidadian scene and talking about the dancehall music, talking about other things within the Trinidadian society. You get me? So just look out for more content, just stay tuned, turn on the post notification and just stay tuned to the thing, continue to support and you know what I mean, I'm out.